Timmons unmolested, forget it. And Timmons had the free shot. And a nice call right there. A little handoff to McMillan. A little hesitation play, and McMillan making a good run of it. And that'll be a turn. And here comes Yanti Hines. He's going to turn it up, and he's going to get some. A pretty nice looking punt to Ryan Wrong. Look out, he started from his own 36. He's got one man to beat. Timmons putting on a good block. He's gonna make it. He's got it. Ryan Ronk with his second big play of the night. Good job by Ryan Ronk. Yeah, forget it, Rich. Uh, <laughs> Richie Williams looks like he's rubbing red ants off of him there. He just there lies right over the top into the end zone. He's been doing it all year long. That's a big body right there. That's a decleater. Cedric Bell with a big hit. He well sets up, gives, and whoa, was Brown Horse Collar. Down pass scored for all of it. And the first man through, that's McDonald, the big fullback. That's the first time we've seen him carry it. Things didn't always go the Seminoles way.
handoff. It's a keeper on the right side, and there, there goes Roundtree cutting back and looting tacklers. He's going to the 10-yard line, the 5-yard line, and his touchdown southeast. The kickoff by Boyd goes deep, and again, this hits the back of the end zone. That would almost have been a field goal. Roundtree with the handoff, and it is clear sailing. Touchdown, Daryl McMillan. Shotgun rolls right, throws on the run, and it's intercepted. Number 22, Ryan Rock. With the quarter running down, the, the running play by Dyro McMillan, and he is still on the run to the 20 to the 15 yard line, breaking through. It's touchdown, Southeast. And he just can't be tackled yet. He's breaking through the defense and into the end zone for a touchdown. Pocket is round three, or Bruton, and he fumbles the ball and it's picked up, and it will be a touchdown by Southeast. Well, that Makes a handoff, and look out, no place to go. There's that quick Southeast defense. John C. Green, nice young man. There's Doc Pollard, and no, sir. Uh, somebody had another idea over there. He's going to Paul Meckley. You can see he got, uh, got plenty wet by our pregame shower. Down at the 37, here comes Pollard, and forget it. He gets wrapped up. That's John C. Green. <laughs> And Roundtree, short drop, and he's going to heave it. He's got a man out there. It's complete. Look out. Inside the 30. Can he make the move? He will score. That is a Ted Bryant and a huge, huge play, Charlie. Perfectly blown last by Roundtree. That's the second one that he's caught. In. And Timmons blocks the punt. Pollard picks it up, and it won't matter. Brett Timmons with the big play defensively for Boyd. 36 yards of Ronk is holding, and boy, it looks like he's wrong enough. He drilled it. A 36 yard attempt. Kick is up, and it is good. Disco Mills is in the backfield, pass down field. Pass is intercepted, no! That was a great job of execution and a great job of beating up our people. Show I can't do it for him! McMillan! Clint Ben! Touchdown, Southie! The pass going on! placed on us. Now we got the one expectation left, and that's to go back and win a state football championship. That's what you're here for now. So they've got that number one ranking off their back now uh, that they were in USA Today as you see the Seminoles come out onto the field. Motion number 22. And Warwick's going to go right to the air, a little hitch pass out there, and it's complete. Number 23 on the play, forget it, that's Ted Bryant, and he's going to go 65 yards. This time, he's going to make a move, he's going to make another move, and Warwick, his first carry of the year, goes 29 yards. And faking the handoff. Look out, Goof is going to be tackled for the loss of Hector McMillan. He's trying to find a spot, and he's got the spot he wants. He does get the pass off, and it's picked off. Seminoles for good field position. Now Warwick will keep it, and oh, he gets away. He's going to say they finally stopped uh, Warwick. Great block back there. I didn't catch the number. Warwick is going to score. Yeah, the magician. Yeah. Unbelievable. I don't know how he did that. The tangible thing that the kids can see winning a state championship like they did last year, that was the first thing they had talked about initially was repeating a state championship. So I think they're going to be focused. They've, they've started saying something. We'd like to win all 12, beat them all, and that would be a nice winning streak to get going again if we can put them all together. With God's help, we'll be able to do anything, and if we don't get complacent, we're going all the way. This time works. Warwick yeah. rolls left, looks to throw, going deep. Into the end zone, is the end, touchdown! Oh, they do. Hand off, McMillan makes it. In. Hand off, McMillan, McMillan off right tackle. Running room to go and a touchdown! We play the game for fun, that's why I love high school sports. Wandal is going to get wrapped up, it's not much fun here for him right now, but Carl Hines just had a blast with Southeast. 
to the deep man, that's McMillan, their top running back, and look out, Daryl McMillan says, see ya, I'm gonna get six, I don't know where he's gonna throw, he throws quickly, he's got a man open, beautiful looking play, and it's a touchdown. Ben. Thomas with the pass, he's got a man open, and now it's picked off, look out, from the 15-yard line, that's Reggie Davis, number 11, and Davis brings it all the way back to snap, tries to, uh, Tries to hand the ball off, as you see right there, and it, it just falls, uh, rolls around. And Warwick, this time he's got to look out. He's picking his way, and he's gone. Peter Warwick. Thank you for joining us here on Paragon Cable. Taking a kick back there on the five-yard line up to the 25. That's Roundtree again, who's had all the good uh, returns. This one might go all the way. I don't see a flag. Whoa, it just got worse. The eye formation, the Venice Indians make a quick change and a handoff inside. And check that. Going to the outside, and there goes McMillan. Second and five. And the give is to Charles Spencer again. And look at Spencer. Spencer's still on his feet. Touchdown. The blocker. There's the pit jack, and nowhere to go for Derek to shame. Phil said, Sage looks to throw. It is the throw. Pass is intercepted. And it's a lineman who picked it up. No, it isn't. It is Rick Timmons. And Timmons dropped the football. Boy keeps it himself. Then pitches back. And look at that into the end zone. And Peter Warwick is in. John McMillan is all the way. Pass is complete to guess who? Peter Warwick. Touchdown! Guy in the football with Cranston for the South Bay Seminoles with yet another touchdown. Warwick takes the handoff and once again all kinds of time. And Ryan right open. Ryan wrong. Open wide. Warwick with the fake. Uh, Watch this. He gets in. He makes the block. And he isn't satisfied just to block that one. He wants to take it in to score. And that's going to be picked off. On the interception down there is, uh, that's Reggie Davis. And Davis still on the move, look out. He's got Alfonso Roundtree ahead of him. Davis is gonna go. What an athletic effort. That sums up what you got going over here at Southeast. Two. And why not go to Daryl McMillan? Uh, let's see, he was stopped and he keeps going. That's how many efforts was that? About my brother Jim, I could whip him, but I couldn't keep him whipped. The throw. Williams picked off by Roundtree. Say Ryan wrong. Look out. He started from his own 36. He's got one man to beat. Timmons putting on a good block. He's going to make it. He's got it. And here's McMillan. He's going to put the first points in the right off the board. He, uh, he finds Rock, throws up just a clothesline to him. Ryan Rock catches it, avoids a tackle right here, and takes it right on in for the touchdown. Part of the reason for the Knowles' success this year has been their offensive play calling now. And forget it. Oh my, that was a, that looked terrible. Well, McMillan is stopped after he stumbled. They kind of let up. You see number 44 come over, Camaro, try to make it, but look at him. He just stays inbound. What a magnificent athlete. Six, and he's got it, Ted Bryant. And Godsey going to roll out to get away from that pressure. Carl Hines found it anyway. And Yanti off to the races. He's got a block. He's inside the 10. Yanti. Uh, right now, I think we have a lot of momentum going to next week's game. If we play hard like we did this week and practice hard, I think we'll come out as winner. Willie Sam just rushes right through unmolested and grabs a ball carrier. And you see uh, Willie Sam's, is a, he's a tough customer and he loves to play defense. Now it's third and 16. Warwick got a man wide, wide open. It's Ted Bryant. And Ted Bryant got the touchdown. Another one. Alfonso Roundtree, just, uh, he's not a very tall guy, but you see he jumps very, very well. Got that. He's got the sure hands. Kick is up. It's definitely far enough. Did he get it through? Yes, he did. That's going to be intercepted. Terrible looking pass. Reggie Davis will take it and come back the other way and see if they can tackle him. And Dick Stallman uh, and Daryl McMillan picks that stiff arm out there, manages to stay in bounds. 
pitch now. Going deep, that's a penalty picked off. That was a jump ball for Alfonso Roundtree. Warwick, going to keep it. That's a run all the way. Look out, they won't catch him. That's a touchdown. Warwick, 24-yard touchdown run. Second and nine, Marconi going around the Oh, look out, that's in picked off by Roundtree, his second interception. And Warwick again calls his own number, and he's inside the 30. He's got a first down at the 35-20, 15-10. Warwick looking for his second touchdown of the night, and you better give it to him. The Brett Timmons puts on the quarterback right there. Oof. I mean, he flattens him. Warwick, he sure got the arm. There they go. Got a man down there. Touchdown, yeah. Chad Bryant. <laughs> oh. Go deep. And that's picked off. And is that round three? Score, yes. That's his third one. And will he get six? Yes. Yes, he does on that one. Yeah, he wants to. He's going deep, and he's going to throw it away. It's picked off. How about round three <laughs> with his fourth interception? And I know that's illegal to have four interceptions. In the Seminoles of Bradenton Southeast High School, ranked number 19 right now. Daryl McMillan gets the call. McMillan through traffic to the... The state championship goes to Braden and Southeast. What a ball game, Jim. One that uh, I tell you, sticking a lot of people's minds for a long time. Southeast, of course, a uh, nice little tune-up here. Hey, Carter on the draw, forget it, Sam's is all over him. Carter will lose about five, and there's that Southeast defense. Also his name. And a great block on that play, too. You see Bryant smiling, well, he should be. A couple of touchdowns tonight. Number one, baby, I got one more year. You know, I hate to see everybody who we got right next to you.
going to lay down, going to take a little nap there on his lounge chair, and that's going to cost him 15 yards. <laughs> because here comes number 45 and just... Uh, And you look at Jefferson, see this is a veteran team, these guys won a state title last year and they, they exude that confidence, the Southeast Seminole. Takes it to the near side, Conti Green, Green reaches out with that Whoa. big ball, grabs the jersey, brings him down and prevents a, a heck of a game right there. Green field there. Out of <laughs> green field, Jim. Handoff finally, a little bit of running room for Presley, but he was a little indecisive. And Chauncey Green said, If you're gonna stop, I'm gonna nail you. 